So you've gotten an error message and you're panicking because you're trying to save your database to submit it to SAM and you are unable to. Your error message says you attempted to open a database that's already opened by user admin or machine and it'll give the machine name. Try again when the database is available. So your data is not lost. Don't panic. You just have to find where the database file is. So you normally press OK, close the database, and then navigate where you save the database. Now, if you save your database in the Documents folder, and that's where it will be, you can just reopen it, and all your changes will be saved. But if you opened the database without saving it, that database is in temporary Internet files. So I'll show you how to uh, recover the database. First, let's take a look at how this error happens in the first place. We'll go ahead and open the database from SAM, and instead of saying save file like we should and put it in documents, we'll just say open with Microsoft Access. And the database indeed opens up just fine. But the database, if you look at the top uh, of the screen here, the database is saved under C users, your username, followed by app data local camp. And then there's the name of the database. So we need to navigate there to recover the database. So you might have um, worked with your database, and uh, as you were making changes to the database, you kept pressing Save button there at the top to make sure all the changes are saved. And they are. But again, the database is now hidden away in a directory where you have difficulty finding it. This error often happens when you go to File, and then you go to Compact and Repair Database. And uh, you might then see again uh, the error pop up. OK, so how do we find this database now? Well, we're going to navigate first to the C drive. So let's go to the C drive. And um, if, again, if you see here, uh, see users, your username, and then documents, then just click on documents folder, and you might be able to find your database there. And so just double click on it, and you'll be able to open it. But if you do not see the documents folder, but you see local temp, you go to the C drive, then navigate to the users directory, and then your username, if you're in the lab, there's going to be a little lock next to your username. So select your username. And now notice that we cannot see the app data directory. So now we are going to go to the address bar and we will type in app data. This is a hidden folder. You could make Windows show you. Uh, the hidden uh, objects in the folder. And in Windows 10, which uh, I am in Windows 10, you would go to View and then Hidden Items to see app data. Or in Windows 7, uh, there's actually a menu on the left here where you will go to organize the folder and uh, you will navigate to View Hidden Files. Later on in this video, I have a clip on how to do that. But once you are in app data, you will go to local and then temp. And this is where you will find your database. Now, I can see uh, my database, uh, which is open. Um, I have a temporary file, which is generated, and the database itself. So the database is going to be much bigger than your log file. Okay, so you want to grab the database. So what I would do now is I would close my database. My log file disappears. This is my database file. And I would copy this file and go to the Documents folder and then paste the file. And then reopen it from Documents. And now you'll be able to complete um, uh, all your steps and uh, likely what you want to do is go to File, Save As, Save As, and then uh, change the underscore 1 to 2 
so that uh, you can upload this project to Sam. And now I'll show you how we did a recovery of uh, this error uh, in the lab. What we're supposed to do is um, to save the file. And when we go to save the file uh, and try to do it well under documents, it gives us this bad error message. So what we need to do is recover this particular file from the temporary uh, internet files. You can see the name of the file and the location at the very top. So here's how we recover it. We're gonna navigate to the C drive and then we're going to follow this path. So it's C users, then we're going to choose the uh, user ID. Now we need to go to options and then view and show hidden files so that we can see app data. So app data is next. We're going to go to local and then to temp. And in temp, we actually have this database. So we right click and copy the database, not the log file, which is 1K but uh, the database. We're going to now go to documents, go ahead and, form and paste it. And so now the database is here. We can close the one that doesn't want to save and we can reopen the one that we just worked on and it's ready to be resaved and uh, renamed.